So we finally got a third wave of goatee. Are they good or are they bad? Let's talk about it. So the names aren't official, but we're just gonna go ahead and call this level two fish, Kif. Unlike our other level two fish, this one isn't a tuner. It has three effects and all of them are once per turn. The first says if you control a fish monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. So it's a neat little extender, but it's only a level two. So you can't really start a synchro summon into area and post with this card. Now this second effect is a bit confusing to read, but what it says is if your opponent special summons a monster, you can banish that monster and this card. And if you do, then you can special summon one of your banished level six or lower fish monsters. So this card is both a disruption as well as a way to recycle your fish monsters. And we'll come back to this effect later. And the third effect is during the standby phase of the next turn after this card was banished, you can special summon this banished card. So just like your goatee tuners, this card just keeps coming back during the standby phases. So another way to look at this card is it's kind of like an SP little knight or a DPE. You're going to make your opponent go negative one by removing their card. And then this card just keeps coming back while giving you card advantages. So this next one is a level six fish and it has two effects. The first says, if this card is normal or special summoned, you can add one fish from your deck to your hand. Except Moonlight of the Goatee, then you can banish one fish from your hand or face up field. So this search effect can add any fish, which means you can also use it to add Coelacanth. The second effect says, if this card is banished, you can banish one fish from your hand, face up field, or graveyard, except Moonlight of the Goatee, then special summon this card. So you can banish this card from your hand with the Goatee Field spell, then you can banish another fish, special summon this card, add a fish to your hand, and then banish another fish. Having to banish three of your own fish seems like a huge cost. There are a few ways to reduce this cost. You can summon Arian Post, use Arian Post's effect to banish Moonlight of the Goatee. Then when Moonlight is banished, you can banish a fish in the graveyard that was used to make Arian Post, special summon Moonlight of the Goatee, add a fish to your hand, and then banish another fish. This also means just by summoning Arian Post, you can add Coelacanth to your hand. So I can't wait to experiment with this card in my Coelacanth decks. So going back to Kif, Kif has a second effect. After you have banished your opponent's special summon monster in Kif, you can special summon a level six or lower fish monster. If you use this effect to special summon Moonlight of the Goatee, you can use Moonlight to search for a fish on your opponent's turn, like let's say Zep, and then banish Zep from the hand to then summon Zep on your opponent's turn. But you can also use Moonlight on the opponent's turn to add Snopios to your hand. So what these new cards provide is a lot more versatility to the deck. So you'll have much more big brain interactions. So what do you guys think of these cards? Are there any tech cards that you think will work with these cards? Will Moray of Avarice finally be good? Write down in the comment section below, subscribe, like, and I'll see you guys next time.